Hey guys, got a action camera here to review today. This is from Van Top, and it's the Moment 6S. So 4K, uh, as you can tell, it comes in a nice cylinder instead of a box, more like a GoPro would. But very nice case. I'm assuming the accessories are all down inside here. And looks like this top is taped on, so we cut this tape to get to the camera itself. So we'll take a little box knife here, cut it open. Now I have not tested one of these before from Van Top, and they did send this over to me uh, to review. So we're going to do a review of it, and they're not paying me a dime to do this. I don't get no commission off of it, but I will post a link to my Amazon where you can pick these up because I have heard lots of good things about them. That they're a very good camera and it even clips on kind of like a GoPro would. So over here see it's got the kind of the GoPro style mount. Spin this bolt out. Take the camera out. And then the camera comes in a waterproof case like that. And then of course you can put these together I'm pretty sure. like you would on a GoPro. Push this out like so. And then you got to mount the, the other part in there would be like this and you can clip it onto a helmet or whatever you want to carry it on. So we'll see. Okay, that just pulls out there then. Good. Pull this out. And here will be all of our accessories. And uh, of course I don't know what they are yet because I haven't explored it. There's a couple straps look like. There's one of the uh, mounts for it right here. All different kinds of mounts. It looks like the same thing, but maybe not. There looks like another one. Different styles maybe. Yeah, different angles is what they are. And then we have this style here, which is kind of like this. It clips in. So you can clip this in, put it on your helmet or whatever you're putting it on. Then we have a charging cable. This is USB-C too on this camera. Definitely a, definitely a ton of accessories. Here's a handlebar mount for motorcycle. Which you know this is one I'll probably be using. One of them. Yeah, so just undo this. Clip it on the motorcycle. It's got rubber in there. You can mount it on your handlebars or whatever. And we got a owner's manual. Looks like a couple van top stickers. Tons of accessories in here. There's another style that does a mount with a quarter inch style, um, like a camera mount. Here's a mount that would go on top of a flat surface or a helmet because one of these is curved. And actually, one thing nice about this is it's a big, so it will really stick good. 3M style tape, and then you can clip it into here. So that would be good for a helmet. This one, there's one that's flat, there's one that's curved, the curve would be for a helmet. Unless you, unless you have the helmet with the flat spot on top. Another screen. What do we have here? Can't see in there. Now how cool is that? It's kind of like a lapel mic. It's got a clip on it. And USB-C. So that's going to work. Just plug it in. Unlike a GoPro, which is a pain and expensive just to hook a mic up to it. This thing, you plug it in USB-C and there you go. This is another cool feature that I've seen that this thing comes with that I've not seen before. And it's a wrist remote. So it goes on your wrist and just like a watch and you can remote control. It's got the camera, you take picture, there's camera for picture, video, power on, there's the Wi-Fi to connect it. Uh, and then I'm not sure what this one is yet until I check them all out. But And it's actually really nice made. This thing comes out of here obviously 
yeah, just like that. Which is really well made because this is like stainless steel band around it. And then of course it's plastic in the back and then your rubber soft touch buttons up here. Clip it back down in here. You could take this thing and stick it on something so if you wanted it on your motorcycle, not using the wrist, you could actually put this, have Velcro or some way you could mount this onto your motorcycle and not use the wristband. And a couple other pieces of 3M tape in case you mess one of those mounts up, you can redo it. And it's got two batteries. That's good. You don't have to go out and buy an extra battery all of a sudden. As soon as you get the thing, you just got two batteries comes with it. You can get these little things open. They stick good. Very nice. It almost looks like a GoPro battery, but it's not the same shape, so it will not work in a GoPro. Which, why would you want to? Okay, I'll leave this thing here. It's got a film we can peel off here. Same way on the front. So they do a good job of packaging and some care in it. Obviously, you click this to open. Click this to open and then do something else. Click this to open and then raise up on that like this. Kind of folds out. That way it knots. It's not quite the buckle style of the ones you've seen but it probably works just as good or, or better. And then we got to open it. Oh, okay, it's stuck so good because this is like silicone or rubber around here and made to where it really seals when it goes in here to make this thing totally waterproof up to so many feet. The camera's nice and small, dual screen. It's got one shows you your stats on here. Then of course you got the screen back here. We'll show everything, you can change your settings and your, uh, you can see your video on there. And then of course the lens, <clears throat> but you want to take this off for sure before you go and set it up, like so. And it looks like a round lens, I don't know how fisheye it is, but it's pretty rounded. You see a microphone here, indicator lights here. Uh, I said 4K, there's 4K. Wi-Fi 60, so maybe it's 4K 60 frames. Peel the screen off the back, the little lens cover. Um, to open the battery part, we go like this. The battery goes in the bottom. It says right here, camera front. So that will go just like this. Pull this little tab down, it helps you pull the battery out, which is a nice touch. This is kind of more like a SD cam. It actually looks just like the SD cam. One of them. Like that. And then over here we got a little opening probably for the... Yes, that is the USB-C. Right there. So we can plug in the mic, plug in the charger, whatever to charge it. So, we will power it on. Plays a little tune. Wow, you can see the inside of my house where we're building the walls and the rafters. But the video in here is extremely clear. Really good looking video. Now, in the next videos, I will go through the settings and more of that and the app and all the settings. Right now, I just wanted to do this. I'll set it on the the best 4K video, probably even set it on 4K 30 frames per second, and do some video so you can see what it looks like. I might put the SD card in it first, then we'll do it. Pops up and tells you there ain't no card in it. And it pops up and tells me my battery is just about completely dead, so I'm going to charge this battery, come back at a later time, and we'll do some video with this. Power it off. Nice shutdown screen. Okay guys, I do have it charged up. And I put in the SD card, which goes right in here by the battery. It's kind of a little bit difficult to get to, but not too bad. But as you can see here, this is our, we can check out the videos or photos that's on it if we wanted to. Click on video, 
there's a couple where I was messing around go back out of here we don't need that this here we can change our resolution of our camera right now I have it on you can see that little red right there indicates what you're on we're on 4k 24 frames per second and then video here you can change it to video time-lapse mode slow motion uh, burst mode photo lapse or photo you know what we want is here we can change the white balance and all the other limbs kind of settings and here we can change language of course Wi-Fi is on 5 gigahertz which is rare it has 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi but you can actually change it if you want it to 2.4 and the way you change something on here is you just slide it you can see it's red is what I'm on I slide it down there and now I'm on 2.4 but I'll use it on 5 and format SD card right there click OK done format SD card it's real fast now this is real smooth too it's, it's no lag as far as that power off timer you can set three minutes you can change it to uh, whatever you want here it looks like up to ten minutes we got it on three we'll just leave it on that for now LCD off time thirty seconds front display on you can set all your settings in here the rotation brightness color temperature of your screen external microphone I do have that turned on because I'm going to try the external mic set the date and time uh, frequency we can set everything in pretty much on this thing in here so that is that now we do the app on the phone you need to download the moment app looks like that right there open up the moment app first thing you want to do before you connect is make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi of the moment so we'll go to our Wi-Fi should come up here right there this is going to be the moment we'll click on it and the default password is one two three four five six seven eight join that was fast okay we should be connecting here okay once we're connected to the Wi-Fi tap connect Now we're in. So we can connect, click record. Uh, we can view the pictures or the videos that we have on here, which now because I formatted, I don't have any. We can change it from right here. We can change all of them that we did on, on that. We can do it on your phone. But we want it on video right now. It shows there's a battery percentage, power off. All your settings are in here, the video settings. You can change your resolutions in there. There's a ton of resolutions you can go to. As you can see, I'm on 4K Ultra. 24 frames per second um, all your settings are in here power on record so you can have it where when it powers on it automatically starts recording by hitting that which would be like a dash cam mode so if you want to use it for a dash cam it would be great put that when you turn it when you power this thing on uh, by USB then it automatically will start recording we don't want that right now uh, all the video, other video settings are right in here. But right now we just want that. We want to take it out and try recording and see what it, what it looks like. I may also try it on the motorcycle too to see what that looks like. But for that we're not actually going to use app. We're just going to use the camera. So we can just get out of the app. Okay, now I have the microphone plugged in to the USB-C. The lapel mic so I can clip this on me. I have it set on a little mini tripod that I got. Just uh, something for a handle while I carry it. And I also got it connected to the remote, which come with it. You just pair it, hold these two, set it on pairing, hold them two, it pairs real easy. And then you can control video, the camera, the Wi Fi, the power on and off, everything right here on this remote, which I'd be pretty handy. Now, if you're just carrying it like this, like I'll be doing here, you actually wouldn't need to. You just push the button on here. But if it's something that you're no, not going to be uh, you're going to have this mounted like on the motorcycle I could turn it on with this remote which would be pretty handy so, but let's go try this see how good the video is all right here you can see we have my climb cryos pro this is one of the mounts that come with it I could mount it in this case and it actually does fit my GoPro mount 
because I already have the GoPro base up here, I'm going to use this one, and it actually does, if I put it in right, it actually does clip into it, so I probably want it like this. It actually will clip into it, then I will use this base that also comes with it to put it on here. Now, I could use this case like I said, but I want to use the external mic. And you can't use the external mic with this, obviously, I don't see no hole for the mic to come out. You could modify it and make it work. So, I want the external mic to put in the helmet. So, for now, I'm just going to try it like this, see how it turns out. And we'll have to adjust the picture, the adjustment here to see if I'm aimed where I want to be. Usually on a helmet you want it aimed up a little bit. So I'll put it about in that angle because your head actually tilts when you're riding. Then I'll run this down temporarily, put it inside there to where I can talk. Okay, here we are, we're recording. I just want to see how good it does on the motorcycle. It's on 4K 24 frames per second. And I use the remote to turn it on. Now what you're hearing is I do have the external mic on. So we'll see how good the video looks. And we'll go on out into the sun and try it out. And it is on image stabilization too. So should be pretty stable. Okay, now we're out into full sun. And we can see the flowers here. See how good that turns out on those wild flowers. And the butterflies and all the bees are swarming around trying to get some nectar. Go up close on this one here. You can see that bee right there. Lots of bees out here, honey bees gathering nectar off all these wildflowers. We got this whole hillside and we threw out some wildflower seeds and man they have took over. Okay now we'll try walking and of course walking you know you're going to have some movement so we'll see how this image stabilization is on this. On the camera itself it looks pretty good. I don't know if it will turn out that clear on the video when I put it on the computer. We're going from shade to sunlight into the sunlight right here down the driveway and then we'll be back into shade here in a minute so we're back into shade you see some sunlight over there they want to squirrel across the road but probably too far away to see it and you can maybe feel a little bit of wind because there's some wind that pine tree up there to see how bad the wind noise is. So we'll check this out. We're going to try this out on the motorcycle too, just to see how it, how it does on the motorcycle. All right, we'll take this thing down the road. Now do remember, this is not a microphone test right now because I do not have the microphone mounted in the proper location but I wanted to be able to talk on the video so it probably the audio won't be very good but we wanted to test out the video of 4k 24 frames per second and the image stabilization is on there will probably be some wind noise here on this mic but I can try shutting this my shield down on the helmet and see if that helps I make the audio worse because it will be uh, more bumps to check out the image stabilization so let's see how the video actually looks Let me know what 
guys think of the video and the stabilization on this camera. I can't see it right now because I've not got it edited on the computer. I'm not going to edit the video, but I'm saying uh, cut out some pieces that I don't want and then put it on the video. So the color, I'm going to leave it the same as it is and just upload this video. Now this way you're going to see a little dust because I just couldn't find it so it's kind of dusty in the air. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Click the thumbs up. I'm going to put a link to this Moment 6X from Van Top. Uh, Moment 6S, I should say, from Van Top. So you can check it out on Amazon. That's my Amazon store. I don't make but a little bit of percentage off the Amazon store. But I don't make anything from Van Top. They just sent me the camera to review. They ain't paying me for this. And I have plenty of other cameras, so... I'm not partial to anybody yet. I'm just reviewing them as they come. Thank you for watching. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Right on.